Hi everyone, welcome to our uh, completely revamped uh, AR indoor navigation project. Uh, four years ago we released our uh, first indoor navigation video. Uh, this video turned out to be the, the most popular video on our uh, channel. And uh, fast forward to today and we are back with a super update. It's basically the same solution, uh, so we will always use um, Ambience Explorer uh, AR capabilities to move inside the environment, but we updated the packages uh, for the new Unity version and we added a little twist to the user experience with a 3D model of the environment. It's basically a, a map uh, of the environment um, with some uh, clear uh, 2D labels and uh, so we now have a more intuitive and immersive uh, UI. We are going to see how to set up the project um, and uh, edit the scene to use um, in your own uh, model uh, in, the, in the project. So um, when you download the project uh, using the links uh, in the description, uh, you will download a um, Unity project. So it's not a separate uh, package. And uh, we, as I was saying, we updated the Unity version to Unity 6. Uh, we updated to the latest uh, Explore 2 version uh, for more uh, uh, robust, robust AR alignment. But most importantly, we rebuilt the, the UI. And um, while in the first version of the AR indoor navigation system, we published an additional package that needed to be used in conjunction with uh, Explore and uh, Sync, our main uh, uh, plugins uh, on the Unity Asset Store. For this project, we are providing a standalone Unity project uh, that already contains both Explore 2 and the additional AR indoor navigation package. Uh, you can find the project on our Gumroad page. Uh, all the links are in the description. If you already uh, own Explore 2, you will uh, get uh, a coupon code inside the uh, Explore package, so you can get the, the project uh, basically for free. Um, so this is how the, the project looks like inside the uh, Unity, uh, Unity project. And let's see how the, the project is, um, is working. So um, we have uh, the basics uh, setup for the ER template in, uh, uh, in Explore. So we have a marker which will be uh, positioned uh, inside the, um, the real world in the same position. And then we have the navigation manager, uh, which will uh, uh, see all the uh, different uh, waypoints inside the, the space and create the labels for, uh, for us. Uh, and then we have uh, basically two uh, two versions of the same uh, 3D model. One is for uh, the rendering of the map, so you can see the 3D model. The other one is only for occlusion, so basically when you um, move inside the space, uh, the, the arrows that tells you uh, how to move, uh, um, they are occluded by the walls um, of, the, of the space. And then we have uh, another camera, an additional camera, uh, which will only render the uh, 3D uh, model. The camera is here. So it's basically a camera that will follow you uh, inside the AR, um, the AR uh, space. Um, and so this camera will only render the uh, office, so this one. And so with this camera, we can uh, see the 3D uh, map that will uh, follow the, the user inside the, the space. Uh, we made a couple of uh, edits uh, to explore to support this, um, this 3D model, this camera model. So for example, the office map is inside a, a separate layer from the uh, other stuff in the scene and the layer is called uh, uh, map and uh, the camera for the 3D map will only render the map and the navigation. The other layer is this one, the, the navigation, and it's basically the, um, uh, the arrows that tells you the, the waypoints inside the, uh, the indoor navigation. Uh, for uh, the prefab, of the um, of the AR um, uh, of the AR camera, uh, we also have this uh, type of uh, edits. So, for example, we will not render the map; otherwise, uh, we will see the 3D model inside the space. 
we don't want that. Um, and um, nothing more, basically, yeah. Um, other things to, to notice is that we have a sphere, this red sphere, that will tell um, where the user is inside the 3D space. And to make this sphere follow the visitor, the um, explored visitor inside the, um, the AR app, we use this uh, script, the add follower, which is a script that is uh, included inside the package. This is a script that you can use, for example, to make a UI follow the, the user, for example, yeah. Another thing to do uh, when you change the 3D model is to add the nav mesh. So the nav mesh is this uh, bluish uh, mesh you can see here. And uh, the nav mesh is used by the scripts, the navigation manager over here, to um, compute the, from the location of the user to the final uh, destination uh, of, the, of the nav mesh. And you can um, uh, add um, the nav mesh uh, surface uh, component to uh, one of the 3D models you want to, to use and you can change the layers and so on and then uh, you can uh, change the settings of the uh, nav mesh uh, using the navigation panel which is located inside the window AI navigation here and for example if I want I can change the size of uh, the humanoid um, of the humanoid and I can rebake the, um, the nav mesh and you can, as you can see I, um, uh, I set the radius uh, to 0 0.3 and the, the, um, uh, the nav mesh is now um, less gray, great uh, inside the doors. Uh, let me change it back to this, go back here and rebake the, the nav mesh. Okay, so um, uh, after you compute the, the nav mesh, you can change the um, uh, locations. And in this case, the locations are inside the target locations uh, game object, inside the navigation manager uh, prefab distance. And uh, the locations are uh, basic game objects um, with a point of interest uh, script. Uh, and in this script, you can set the name and an icon for uh, for the uh, for the label. So you have to uh, include the icon and set it as a sprite to the end UI uh, text to type uh, to to have the icon itself. Uh, after that. Um, the project should be uh, ready to go, but uh, if uh, this is not the case, you can open the Explore uh, uh, panel from Tools, Ambience, Explore, and change the template to uh, one of the AR templates, for example, iOS AR or Android AR, uh, and then it apply template. Once you do that, uh, the build will be uh, in uh, uh, AR, so uh, you can uh, build the application uh, using the uh, scene uh, included in the package here. This is the scene you want to include in your build, and you can uh, uh, you can uh, test the application uh, on your device. But uh, you can also test the application inside the editor because if you hit play. The application will switch to a 360 template, so it's not AR but 360, but you can see uh, the behavior of the, uh, the nav mesh, of the sphere that will follow the visitor uh, prefab instantiated in the scene. You can also click to the, the navigation waypoint uh, here or for the scan room. We can switch over here. And then when you are uh, happy, you can uh, go to your device. So uh, when you go to, when you want to make the build, the actual build, um, you switch back to the Explore panel, build, select the template, apply template, and then you can build uh, the application. Um, the result is uh, something like this. So as you can see, uh, this is our office and you can click on one of the label and move around to see the uh, the waypoints 
in uh, AR. Okay. So uh, the project, as I was mentioning, is available uh, to, for download on our Gumroad store. You will find the link uh, for the uh, download uh, inside the Explore uh, uh, 2 uh, package. Um, inside the samples uh, folder, there's a, uh, a little text file uh, where you can find the code to get the uh, plugin, uh, plugin for free. So that's it for today. Uh, let me know in the comments or on uh, our Discord server if you have any problem, any suggestion, uh, let us know. So thank you.